At first, we turn off the phone. Just power off. Now you're gonna tap the volume down button and then home button and then you're gonna tap this power button continuously so do not you can see you'll see this is screen so different phone has a different ways to get this screen some supports volume down button and even only the home button so you can check it on a google so different brand has a different function key so how do you get uh, this screen in order to install the custom operating system now what you need is one usb cable what you're gonna do is just plug in one end to your phone and another end to your laptop So this time we open the Odin again and now you can see this time we have downloaded a new file where we got APB, LCP and CSC. So at first we add AP. So it is over here in the download. At first we add AP and then you know, after adding AP, this gives some time. Okay, now we have added AP. Now we'll add BL. So here is BL. Now we'll add CP. Here is the CP. We'll add CSC is the CSC. So I've added all four different files. Now, what we do requires volume up button to start. So tap volume up button. You can see volume up to continue. Now you can see added. Click on start. Now you can see it is booting. Give some time to boot.
Okay, you can see pass. Almost done with everything. Check your phone. See it's booting. Same procedure, same method for almost all the phones. You just have to download the proper firmware. Now click on exit. And close it. So after exiting, you can just uh, get your phone, you can exit the Odin and unplug your phone now. Now here is your phone all the way ready to go.